In Luke's story of the resurrection, you'll notice that the women do not actually encounter the risen Jesus. They only see an empty tomb and two angels in dazzling clothes. The angels tell them to remember, remember how Jesus told you while he was still in Galilee, that the Son of Man must be handed over to sinners and be crucified and on the third day rise again. Then the women remembered Jesus' words. To remember, it is not just to call to mind past events, it is to put them back together into something useful for the present, to remember them. The angels helped them to reassemble their memories into hope and faith in the Jesus they already knew. As the women see the empty tomb and the angels, they remember their life with Jesus, who raised Lazarus, the widow's son at Nain, and Jairus' daughter from the dead. They know now that he is alive. They know it in their hearts, in their spirits, in their minds. They can see it in the angels. They can feel it in their bones. It is like living the last three years with Jesus in a wash of light and insight all over again. And suddenly, everything makes sense. Jesus came from God, and he has power over life and death. They saw it, they heard it with their own eyes, and it is still true. Death cannot stop Jesus, and our despair will never stop God's faithfulness. God sends us to be dazzling angels for each other, to help us remember what Jesus has done for us and how God has gotten us through hard times in the past. Some moments we need others to do this for us, and other times we are the ones offering hope and helping others to remember Jesus is risen and we have new life in him. That is Christian community, and that is why we do faith together. Each one of us is a messenger of hope, dazzling with the life of the risen Christ.